Hey guys, this is MTP Flyer. How y'all doing tonight? I was messing around in iMovie the other day, and I found something that I don't know if many people know about it, or maybe you do, and I'm just an idiot, and I'm the only one finding it for the first time. However, no updates have come to iMovie 09 for a while now, um, as far as uh, fonts, um, colors, text, transitions, any of that stuff. However, I was goofing around the other day, and I did find something that may help you spark up uh, something if you're a little bit bored. Um, I was, I don't even remember what it was I was looking for, but I found this by accident. And let's go ahead and make this full screen. Get me out of the way. All right, so here you can see that I am working on the video that actually just went up. It may be before or after this. I'm not sure, depending on how long it takes. And if you go up to i, if you're in iMovie and you click on your file and go to Project Properties, and that's not what I wanted. You want to go into <laughs> iMovie to your preferences, and you notice in your iMovie preferences there is browser, video, and of course font. Here in font is where you actually have the ability to change your font. They give you the standard ones that they offer, and of course you see I have Cracked, and I have Comic Sans in Bold, so I've changed mine already. You simply go to the arrows here at the top and bottom, and you have all your text that's available, and they do give you on the right side there a little bit of what each one looks like. So, if you want to change it up, you're more than welcome to. I, I, I know I did. I got tired of having the same old text in there, and uh, I just added a couple new ones, and... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. You're actually going to see it in the next video. You'll see it in the beginning there, and uh, you'll see why. Uh, I did the crack, and I actually changed my colors as well. It didn't have an orange in there. I'm MTP Flyers. i got to have an orange, right? <laughs> so you can go there, double-click on it. It'll open up the palette, and you're good to go. You can change any color that you want. So we're actually going to X out. Oh, actually, I had to change that. I don't want to change that. Change it back to the orange. Yes, my dog is hyperventilating. Hold on. Hey. Damn. Sorry. So anyway. All right. So that's it. It's just a quick thing I wanted to come on and show you guys. If you're tired of the font and you're tired of the colors that they have to offer, well, here's a good way to change it up. Do you know about this? Probably. I'm probably one of the few <laughs> that doesn't know it. But uh, I just figured I'd share it with you guys, and uh, hopefully it can, you know, help change a little bit until hopefully, hopefully, uh, Apple changes it up when they do the iLife, uh, iLife 11. So we shall see. So good luck, guys, and, uh, you know, comment below if you know this, or maybe you know something else. So again, iMovie, Preferences, and then you go into Fonts. So that's it for me. Uh, you guys have a good one. And uh, it's 1029 on Sunday. It's time for some entourage. So you guys have a great night. I'll talk to you later. See ya! Command Shift A! <laughs>